Hey you! Yeah you! Did you know that this channel and its contents are intended for older audiences, nostalgia junkies, and man children Thomas fans like I am? Because you do now. Hey guys, it's Dieselworks123 here, and today we are going to be looking at the Trackmaster Thomas. Uh? Oh, wait, no, 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 not this one. We're talking about this one. The brand new All Engines Go Motorized Thomas. Now, this is a very interesting model. Packaging wise, it sort of presents the same as the previous generation of Trapmaster, just with All Engines Go styled imagery. There is Thomas's little profile picture on the back with multiple variations on Thomas's name and all of the licensing blah blah. As pointed out in the haul video I did, there is a little barcode on the bottom of the packaging which has Thomas riding it, which I just find is really cute. So what do we get exactly in this? Well, we get, obviously, Thomas and a little blue truck with a star on it. Why a star? I don't know. This could have just been a blue truck and it would have been okay, but sure. So enough jibber-jabbing. Let's get Thomas out the box. Now, like with the die-cast engines, I have broken the seal already to preserve the box and make it easier for me to get the engines out. There is a clear image of the box there, and it says there, instructions inside. Okay, well, we're gonna have to try and get them out, aren't we? Have a look. Oh, we've got new instructions with all engines. Wow, this is a big sheet of paper. This is a incredibly big piece of paper just to tell you, hey, you need to unscrew this thing. Mm. All right, and this is what we get. We get Thomas and his little truck. I'm going to take the truck off just so that we can inspect Thomas properly. There he is. He's got nice printing on the side. Very, very tall. Like the diecast models, he's got that slant in his roof boiler and funnel to make him look like, you know, wee, wee. <laughs> There's a nice look at the face there for those of you who want to see it. I am, I'm honest, honestly not a fan of this, not a fan of this face. I much prefer the diecast model's face. Also, just note how much darker the diecast push-alongs face is compared to the motorized. Interesting. Unlike the diecast model, these do not have painted buffers. Why is that? Why would you include them on one range and not put them on the other? It doesn't make sense. Also, where is my wheel printing? They've molded it there, so it's kind of there, but it's... You can barely see it. Where's my wheel printing? Like on the diecast models. Come on, Mattel. What? At least they have given us an actual separately fitted middle wheel here now. So it's not just you know, printed on like that version is. Obviously, we've lost the coupling rod, but we still have the hole for it? Question mark? We've now got a red switch here, which is cool, I guess. A massive coal load at the back here, which pretty much does connect to his roof, like on the diecast model again. And he's got an extremely long back coupling. Compare it again, once again, to the Trapmaster 2. You just see how much longer it is. Like, holy damn. Right, I have fitted batteries to Thomas. He does work, so that's good, isn't it? Good to see our boy working. So now comes the time where we compare it to the previous Trapmaster and... Oh wow, you can just see how much taller this is. I'm trying to line it up wheel to wheel here. My goodness, that is such a difference. It's unbelievable. Okay, it's quite interesting. The All Engines Go version is shorter by quite a lot, including the chassis here. The chassis has even been remolded to you know, shrink down the size of the engine. That's, that's a good thing in my eyes. But it's just the complete scale difference here is just so different. I suppose this one here does make it easier for childlike hands to just grab it because it's you know, a bigger item for them to grab. I don't know. I, 
What do I know about toys? What do I know about toy production? Um, we've got separately fitted whistles here by the looks of it. Now I'll quickly unscrew Thomas here just so you can see what his chassis looks like and what his shell looks like. There is Thomas's chassis, all engines go Thomas. It's got a very long extended switch here, a shortened screw post in terms of length. So it's actually closer to the wheels. There is Thomas's body shell and there is the separately fitted whistles in there which are held in by a triangle screw it's very odd to see how close the whistles are to the front very odd now we'll take a look at thomas's little blue truck here i mean there's there's nothing really that special about it it's just a little trapmaster 2 truck with a star on it um, I'm actually really not a fan of these geared wheels on the rolling stock. I prefer having the smoother wheels like on the front of the engines here because these geared wheels don't really like going around corners and actually makes it harder for the engine to pull the train around corners. So I'm not a big fan of them but whatever. So what are my overall thoughts on this new All Engines Go Motorized Thomas? Well. I think it's kooky, I think it's a bit weird, I don't like how tall it is because it will struggle to accommodate to previous Trapmaster sets that have tunnels and bridges, so you're pretty much going to have to rebuy the new All Engines Go Trapmaster sets to allow these trains to work, however it is something different and I am a Thomas collector, so different is good in my collection this means that this item will stand out the truck is just a bit i don't know just did we really need this just <sighs> as for thomas um i think the biggest gripes for me apart from the height issues is i really don't like how the bog standard thomas's face is you can just see as it's going past there it just doesn't look right the eyes and the mouth there's something about it I'm just not a fan. However, the rest of the model is okay. I feel like the bigger engines like Gordon and James are going to be worth getting because then you can scale them with the diecast variants of say Thomas, Percy, Carna, Diesel and Nia to sort of scale them properly to how they are in the All Engines Go series. But overall what would I give this out of 10? To be honest I'd probably give it about a 5, 5 or a 6. It's decent, it gets the job done, but I think, in all honesty, at the end of the day, I would just prefer the diecast push-along range. I think those look fantastic and look like they're ripped straight out of All Engines Go. These do look like they've come out of All Engines Go, but they look like an imitation All Engines Go, if that makes sense. So, All Engines Go Motorized Thomas, not a bad model, not a good model, just a new version of Thomas, a different version of Thomas. And sometimes being different is good enough. You know what? It's good enough for me. So thanks again for watching guys. This has been Dieselworks123. If you have enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload future content. And leave a comment down below on your thoughts of the video, what do you guys think of the motorized All Engines Go Thomas? Do you have one? Will you be picking it up? Will you not be picking it up? Would you prefer the diecast range or would you prefer the motorized range? Let me know in the comments. I love reading your comments, guys. Thanks again for watching. This is Dieselworks123 signing off, and I'll see you in the next unboxing video.